Hello and welcome, Links here. We are playing a sky full of stars. Yesterday we had a date with Hikari and today... Who knows what's gonna happen. Say what? Why? Why? What? そうだよ、川中島。君たちがやめても何もならないって。でも、このままじゃ、プロジェクトスターライトは中止。最悪、ムツラボシの会を解散させられてしまうっす。What are you talking about? What? I sank deep into the chair of the clubroom and put my smartphone in the desk with a sigh. <sighs> We are faced with a terrible choice. Cancel Project Starlight. If not, the Sixers Club would be broken up. Why? What? What did... Huh? Where did that come from? It had all started yesterday after school. What? Why? The problem is not what you said, but how you said it. If things get too out of hand, then everything will have been for nothing. <laughs> Everyone was at their wit's end with the first year for Moromisawa. He had become obstinate and wouldn't listen to anyone. Yeah. Yeah. I think the Moromisawa first year argued vehemently at the stern words. Ah, first year. Ugh. Hoshino Hikari wa hakanai mono da kara. Minna de mamora na kya ikinai te itte ta no. Hokeboshi senpai janai desu ka? Um, so da ne. Gomen. Demo sore wa atashi tachi no iibun de shika nakute. Sore wo oshitsuke tari. Sono shuchou no tame ni dare ka wo kizutsuke tari suru no wa chigau to mou da. And you are absolutely correct on that. Hikari's words were half to herself. Maybe it was why the Moromisawa first year stubborn facade cracked and he looked depressed. Handing out pamphlets was cancelled for the day and we're holding an emergency meeting. What did he do? There had been a little trouble on the net. Oh no, he wrote something. We had made an SNS account for Project Starlight and created a PR movie. Honestly, for none of us were used to the tools and we weren't able to use them all. That's when the user started getting upset on the message board. What? The situation flared up and a small scandal was starting. It was one of those online arguments. Ugh. You just block the person and don't bother. That's the best way. The initial reason was that people who agreed with Project Starlight voiced some slightly extreme opinions on light pollutions. No, seriously, blocking a person is the best solution. Just don't bother getting involved, whatever. I know they will be saying, probably, I mean, you know, Oh, he blocked me, he can't interact, blah blah blah. No, it's just pointless to get into argument like that. Just block them. Easy. Then people opposed to the opinion started a debate, which was fine, but then the Moromisawa first year jumped in. Oh boy. He really loves stars and constellations and he must have really taken Hikari's words to heart. I'm sure that he just bottled up all these emotions inside. And then he tossed his feelings all over the Project Starlight account. Great. Then the internet arguments suddenly exploded, including things that had nothing to do with the Six Stars Club. There was nothing we could do then. There was usually only a few comments by regulars, but today there were dozens of them. There were opinions for and against our efforts. Some people were supportive, but irresponsible insults were being thrown around, too. Now, comment lines are being filled, but there is a lot of mail coming from the same time. Onuka said this like she was exhausted. It must be in her first experience with this kind of thing. Her face looked tired, which is understandable. 
and the Shikai first year who had been listening from the side race car hands loading. It's not wrong, but words can hurt people when they are used recklessly. More than that, Project Starlight is our dream. It's not something we can force on people. It was something like wishing on a shooting star or writing a wish for Tanabata. All we can do is convince more and more people to see things our way. Oh, Toyoda, yes. You are Mr. Hidden Behind Keyboard Fighter, right? Kawane Kajima answered to the speaking with a wise, wistful voice. We certainly had felt like we were making progress at the stargazing a few nights before. At least we thought we had. But it seemed we were mistaken. The president of the shopping center station had contacted us at the beginning of the week. And probably declined, huh? <laughs> Great。今はクリスマスシーズンで書き入れ時でね。せっかくみんなで火を負担して飾ったクリスマスの電飾を一日でも止めるのはもったいないって。Bullshit. Honestly, for nobody, pe no, ah, whatever. At least in here, nobody pays attention to all this crap. それにやっぱり街路灯を間引くのは。Right, sure. <sighs> My president said that he would personally help and that there were others that wanted. But that was enough to light up the night. It was like the enthusiasm we had felt as the sargazing meetup had been replaced with a feeling of hopelessness. Because of certain someone, apparently. フォロワーは増えないし、情報もたくさんしない。共感してもらう前に誰にも見てもらえてないです。How are we not using Hikari's meme? In a way, we should use that. Toyota's words waved all, all of us. Things had felt good when we started Project Starlight, but now we're on a total losing streak. We didn't even know if our small pamphlet distributions were working. Hikari nodded, her face still stern. She must have been thinking about how to deal with our current situation. Hikari was the project leader. No one knew what to do without her direction. <sighs> I think we have to deal with the net problem, honestly. Is it okay if I take care of it? <laughs> Onika was pale and wobbly. Exactly, good Kawakajima. Stop it, both of you, thank you. Everyone was starting, starting to get irritable. Everyone settled down when they saw the first year's teary eyes. それで、これからどうするんですかそれを。女から受けるヒカリ。ネットの方は騒ぎをどうにか収めるしかないわ。ビラ配りも地道に続けるしか。12月14日双子座流星群の極大日に一人でも多くの人が部屋の明かりを消
in the end it's pretty ambitious to try to get the entire city, I guess. But I, I, but I guess even like one house or whatever less would maybe help. Whatever, we'll see. When Hikari spoke in an energetic voice, everyone reluctantly started moving. We handed out pamphlets with low morale, then disbanded. Hikari and I rode the bus together. Hikari had been gazing at the landscape through the window. Was she depressed or just thinking? Hmm, was it? Maybe, I don't remember. That night, the gentleman who came with old man jump head pointed out how weak our plan was. Now the things were going wrong, maybe we're realizing our weaknesses. But again, they're a bunch of teenagers, right? They came with a cool plan, but in the end... Adults being adults... They don't give a landing hand, not even one, right? Which is kinda annoying. Anyway, but it was Vak, so we ignore it. Hmm. I couldn't answer that question. It's not that I didn't know. Only all the answers I could think of, I didn't want to say. We had been so excited at first, but every time we thought we were making progress, it turned out to just... to just fall through. Then there was the problem of the net. Everyone was despondent. Despondent, looking like they did want to think about the problem, huh? Honestly, it would have been difficult to continue Project Starlight as we were. Before I could find the words to cheer Hikari up, the bus arrived at Mikazuki Station. When I got off the bus, I saw a taxi outside the stop and buy. It was empty, so it must have been uh, waiting. Must have been waiting for a passenger. Kotaru saw us and came out of his house, his tail wagging. But he slunk the back right in right away. I guess it was because someone he didn't know walked out of the main building of the Saotome house. There was a suited gentleman with Miss Miharu as she bowed her head in shame. Mr. Morita. The man that came with the old man jumped to the stargazing. So that was the person she wanted to avoid so badly that she'd work in the store. There wasn't anyone else like that there that day, so I guess it must be him. So that means that that man was an old member of the Sixers Club! Hmm? Yo. They both noticed us. Evening. Mr. Murta looked at us again and he gave a gentlemanly greeting. He got his voice straight off as she lost confidence. What you doing today? <laughs> Miss Mikaru stayed silent, but it was as if her eyes were trying to tell me something. <laughs> it seemed that she wanted to say. I don't know what they talked about, but Miss Mikaru looked really troubled, so I was sure it was nothing good. Hikari must have seemed sensed something off too, she asked fearfully. Immediately, 
ていうか急に出てきて何なんですかあなた What a piece of shit. ゴーラ言葉を慎みなさい大きばしねねねねねカモン You're an old member of Six Tall Crop, right, Morita? But I don't think you have that kind of authority, do you? I don't know. Dude, I mean, it's not like we can't continue without being official. Miss Mikaru said this website. Amako, Nishiko, Meiko, Moromisawa, Seisen Joshi, Hoshi no Daiichi. Kono Rokko kara naru Tenmonbu no Atsumari ni Mutsuraboshi no Kaito nazuketa no wa watashi desu. Uh, I think in the past it was I who named the, them the Six Stars Club. You named it, so that map. Morita, a friend who was speaking. Anata no yari kata wa seikyu ni sugimasu. Sono ue hairyu ga marude yuki todoite inai. Sonna yari kata dewa tote dai sansha ni uke irete wa moraenai. いえ、それどころか反発を招くでしょう。モリタ didn't say everything, but it seemed he understood the current status of Project Starlight. 誤ったやり方は、時として、時間をかけて積み上げてきたものを、たやすく壊してしまう。The fine we。そうなる前に、計画を中止してください。Unable to respond, he got a hunger head silently. Morita glanced at Higari and moved to taxi. The rear door opened automatically. Yeah. The cool Japanese taxis here. Yeah. Uh, hi! Good morning. I don't like that guy so much. I didn't like it from the beginning, for, to be honest. But watch Mr. Morita leave in the taxi silently. I would be fired up to go against him. Miss Miharu shouted, half crying. She never got like that even when the manager really ate her hair. Masaka, Morita san ga jiki jiki ni kuru nante. Teyuka, nani ga hataraki guchi shokai suru yo. Oki na osewa da tsu no. Kochi wa yari takute ni to yatte nda kara ne. Miss Miharu let her anger out and grab an orange. From the Kotatsu table. Hikari and I sat across the Kotatsu from Miss Miharu. It appeared Mr. Morita had been very direct when he talked about our situation. Other than that, it seemed he asked Miss Miharu about the Sixers Club activities and he scolded her when she couldn't ask for it properly. Perhaps he had scolded her about her current lifestyle too, but maybe that was fun for her own good. I'm sorry, this is my fault. The scolding must have been quite harsh, judging from her tired face. Hmm, so that guy is an old member of the Six Torch Club, but who is he? I don't recognize him as one. <laughs> Miss Miharu brought under the Katsu, looking cold, and asked why playing her orange. The previous one. Miss Mikaru nodded heavily. In the past. I have not seen that warm smile at all. He's gentle words, but the stern meaning didn't have any mercy. For Miss Mikaru, living her current lifestyle, I could understand why she'd want to see him. Uh, I don't know, I can hardly believe that. Is he a professional astronomer or something? I had heard that some old members of the Six Stars Club had gone in that direction. Yeah, and? 
After return from date, Miss Miharu had complained that we're a real life soapy couple of lovebirds. That's son of a gun. Huh? That ass, dude, it explains to be fair why he would not want to light down the city and so on, why he would be against. He just wants people to get to Planet Harion to see all of that. What an ass! Miss Mihar nodded her face saying, See what I mean? Sorry, a lot happened. I summarized everything for Miss Miharu. I told her about our failure to make progress with Project Starlight, as well as about the trouble on the net. Miss Miharu said while holding her stomach. She stuffed her cheeks with the carefully peeled orange to cleanse her palate. Cancel the project or be spawned the club or do none of that. It seems we have two choices, but actually that wasn't the case. <laughs> if we had the author to spawn the Sixers club, then he could just do it. We could see Mr. Morita's consideration in the fa fact that he came all the way to the last to stop the project. We will not. Let's not. Whoa, whoa. Even though we were down, we couldn't help but try to comfort the adult crying in front of us. We cheered Miss Fiharu up the best we could until she stopped crying. <sighs> this same Kotaru came over to Hikari with his tail wagging when she came out of the main building. He spoke while lightly stroking Kotaru. You bet. Despite her look, she still a teacher that cares about her students. For it was possible Morita was just that scary. It seemed Project Starlight had reached a roadblock. If we told everyone what Morita said, they would want to cancel the project. That might have been okay on its own, but with that lingering feeling of hopelessness, I was worried about the future of the Six Stars Club. Nope. But that's what we do best. We wanted to let more people in on that fun. Atashua,この計画を実行しても失うものなんてないって思ってた。もし失敗して途方に終わっても、それで心臓を思うするのは自分たちだけだもん。でも違うんだね。アピールするってことは誰かを巻き込むことで失敗したら失われるものもあるそれは私たちが思っているより、ずっと繊細で大切なものなのかもしれないうん。I put my arm around Hikari's shoulders as she whispered soundly. But I couldn't find the words to say to her. All I could think of were cliche prices that wouldn't fix anything. Hikari looked up at the sky. As she looked at the lightly shining stars in the early night sky, she muttered to herself. Hikari put her hand into her coat pocket and gripped something inside. I looked at her from the side, her face was like a lost child. I was angry myself for not being able to hold her hand as it works, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. <sighs> oh, 
ねえ冥王星って惑星じゃないんだって Yes it is No way it's them choosing What? The planets are lined up from the sun Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune and Pluto That was common knowledge it is a planet. I recognize this as a, as a planet, so it is a planet. <laughs> You're right. They had found other objects, the same size as Pluto, and if Pluto was a planet, then all those objects had to be called planets too. I'm fine with that. So Pluto had been classified as a dwarf planet. So you know? Of course not. そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そ
モロコがムツルボシの会から抜けるっすそれは困りますどうか謝らないでくださいそうだよ川中島君たちが辞めても何にもならないってでもこのままじゃプロジェクトスターライトは中止最悪ムツラボシの会を解散させられてしまうっすそれはそうですがやはり会の名前を変更するというのが妥当な案ではないかと思うのですがそれであの森田っておっさんが納得するんすかわかりません多分していただけないでしょうね今さら名前を変えるのって信念を曲げるみたいですっきりしないですよそれに名前なんかより大事なことがあると思うこの際だから言わせてもらいますけどうんプロジェクトスターライト自体がうまくいってない方が問題じゃないですか確かにその上名前までコロコロ変えたんじゃそんな連中の言うこと誰も聞いちゃくれませんよではプロジェクトを中止した方がいいとだからモロコンが責任取って抜ける形でモリタっておっさんに納得してもらおうって言ってんすよ同じだよ誰かに責任を負わせて計画を続けても意味ないって落ち着いてください2人とも<笑>ああ。サインキャプセルトゥーデメッセージスオンマイスマートフォン。アサラサンメッセージスでナイトビフォーデロスナフィモルフォンヒカリ。ノーレプライフォンサイアイデルバッデツファイン。アイトルトゥーデルバッデツファイン。アイトルトゥーデルバッデツファイン。アイトルトゥーデルバッデツファイン。アイトルトゥーデルバッデツファイン。So I hadn't replied, the message hadn't been read. Ne, Yamada chan, o c h a k u r e n a i Hinami stood up as soon as she was called. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Hinami clued with her hands and yelled in a strange voice. Nanda, Nanda, oi! What's wrong, Hinami? Relax! Did Finami finally snap at being abused by Takeichi? My name is Uchoni Wareta Tori Nishta Dakedesma. Imanoga Uchino Hanga, no Nekoni Suriona. Oh, I kind of remember saying that. It wasn't even a month before, but it felt like a long time ago. But does your mother do that with stray cats, really? Hi. No Neko Aiteni. あえて同じ猫として振る舞いここは私の縄張りだ入ってくるな<笑>警告します I wondered why she treated Takeichi like a cat seeing as he's not the cat but 怖えよマジでビビったよ But it looks like it works You know I'm sorry but I have to go to work soon もうそんな時間ですか楽しい時間が過ぎるのは早いですね Hmm? Sorry, we could just take the day off on days like this. Hmm. She said that it was serious face. So that was it. She was a hard girl to read, but it seemed like she really felt that way. And you get to your own club! <laughs> Seriously, why did you come here? Come here. Come here. His face said you should know that. I had no idea how coming here to read a basketball magazine had anything to do with the astronomy study. Are you guys even going out? I didn't like it before. Baka yaro! Narue chan wa seikak ga chotto hine kurete ru dake nan da yo! So she didn't show her true feelings. Right. Well, I pray that's not just your wishful thinking. Maka suru! He seemed confident. Maybe Narue was affectionate with Takeichi when I wasn't around. Watashi wa. もう少し部活して帰りますここの書を読み切ってしまわないと気になって夜眠れそうにないので、うん、ブラックホールに人が飲み込まれたらどうなるかが精密にシミュレーションされているのですほら Right, hey, okay, make sure to look up I kicked Takeichi in the butt to get him to leave then I gave the keys to Hinami and left Hmm. Thank you very much. Please come back again. 
It's been a while since I had work at this time of day. The store was really quiet apart from an occasional old lady stopping by for some shopping. It would be getting dark soon and the store would get busier as students got out of the club activities and people came home from work. So for now I was sitting down on the chair behind the register looking over an old tattered notebook. We really did a good job. It was our planetary observation journal that was full of our carefully written observations and research. A while back I had showed this to everybody at the Six Stars Club and everybody had been surprised at how good it was. I really thought that we could do it. If we could finish the journal, we could stop the dam's construction. If I do this, then Hikari wouldn't have to move. That's what I had believed. As a kid, I had preferred to go outside to look at the stars instead of watching cartoons on TV. Nice. I was not looking at the stars. I mean, I still watched... Anime. No, and until some point, I guess. At some point, I stopped to be fair, to return to it in university time. But yeah. Other than that, yeah, outside. Let's go. Uh, alone or not, I was fine. Uh, if I'm as serious as I was back then, then I might even be able to pull this off now. There was less than a week until the peak of the Gemini meteor shower. Just think about how little time we had left and our current situation, I knew that it would be pointless to continue the project. We would accomplish nothing if we kept going. I wouldn't even feel any self-satisfaction. Nah. Things would most likely get worse if we tried. Nah. Morita wouldn't even have to tell me so. And while could see our situation was bad, I knew that even before Morita had come to see us. Thinking rationally, our re only real option was to give up. Uh, I don't know, I mean they are so bent on like trying to them get the lights off and so on, but... Even if they don't turn off the lights, why not hold the... GAME! Stop! Stop! What was that? What the fuck? Uh, great, now... Hmm, now I don't know where we were, but... Responsibility, different personality. I believed back then until the peak of the gym. I I think I clicked by mistake on the keyboard because I moved my hands a little bit. Ah, uh, fuck! Where we? Where were we? Somewhere in here, maybe. And one situation, okay, I think rationally try to calm the peep. Or we could just give up. Whatever we did, the chance to make the night of mirror shower into a bright night was gone. It's not like we had any right to do that, we had. We had only done it because it was something that we wanted ourselves. Even still, I had regrets. Because I had seen it. The image that Hikari had shared with us. Hikari's vision of the bright night. But we couldn't continue. We had to give up. No. You see, my mentality is so different. Something going against? Oh. I'm gonna brute force my way. Are you going to give up again? That old patched up journal in my hand was like the remains of a dream. Project Starlight was going to end up just like that. I'll never reach the stars. Reality was such a dreary world after waking up from a dream. Looking up at the stars knowing that you couldn't reach them was so frustratingly painful. Would I have to go through that hill again? I was looking down the journal with a feeling of sadness when I heard Kotaro bark outside. Hmm? I heard him bark excitedly and I look up. Thaya, I hope not. A woman so beautiful that one would wonder why she's in Mikazuki walks past the automated doors. 
こんにちは。えい、ー、織姫イホス織姫、白鳥。Possibly best girl when it comes to roots in this game. Anyway, Kotaru had his guard up as he poked the round pig stuffed animal. It was the dog toy that Orihime had brought. When the stuffed animal rolled over, it made a bell like sound. Kotaru suddenly jumped away from the toy. <laughs> no barking! It's just a toy! No good, he's a coward. Dogs were supposed to be able to alleviate stress by chewing and playing with these kinds of toys, but Kotaro didn't really play with them often. Maybe he doesn't feel stressed at all. So what happened today? I asked for him as she was having fun watching Kotaro grow threateningly at the little doll. Orihime had entered Meiko University in the fall after graduating. The university was actually in the same place as Meiko Academy, but the university was in a completely separate section. We were on different schedules, so we'd never really run into each other randomly. It'd been a while since we had seen each other. Mm. Yeah. She looked regretful as she turned around to tell me. I don't know what to say, but I don't know what to say. Why am I not surprised? I don't know what to say. 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 I'm sorry, uh, Hikari was the only one who knew about it back then. I cringed a little, fighting to hold back tears. It'd been a while since we had last seen each other, but she really was beautiful. She had matured even more, and it only enhanced her beauty as a woman. Do you mind spe stepping back a little? I don't want to get a double race lock from Hikari. I didn't know where the line for cheating was, but I guess that would all depend on who you ask. As for Hikari, I mean, she is! What can you say? But I'm not cheating. It was like I just saw myself get hit by a Lariat wrestling move. What do you mean? Hey, but you can't hold it anymore. Let's go! We're back on track! Six Stars Club evolves into Seven Stars Club because of university. Let's go! She said happily as she clapped her hands. And how are you going to do that? Surely she wasn't thinking of changing the uniform after her lectures and coming to our school astronomy club or something. Let's go! It's a... Yeah, 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 yeah! Six stars club! You mean like helping out to promote our club? She smiled widely as she nodded. But bring it on! The war is not over. <laughs> Her carefree smile as she asked hurt me deep inside. I'm really happy for the offer, but a. What's that? Ah, no, it's not that. Eh, Orihime didn't know the current status of the Project Starlight. Right now, Project Starlight. Um. Wait, you kicked her out of the chat or something? <laughs> I had a better taste in my mouth, so I explained everything to Orihime. It was pathetic in several ways. It had having to explain the situation to someone who really wanted to help the club out. It was sad having to tell Rihime about my fear for the Six Stars Club's survival after she had revived the club and entrusted it to us after she had left. Hmm. 
ソラミ君が帰った後だと言われたわそしてオリヒメ had gone to the Meiko Astronomy Club she had, had visited my school and then came here She had sure gone out her way to see me でもわからないわどうして活動を休んでますのそういう時こそ頑張らないといけないのではなくて Exactly I guess it's one of those times where you are not sure if you can do anything She just took her head as she, if she didn't get it <laughs> ならやり方を正せばいいじゃない間違っていたのは目標じゃないわ方法よ That's so true But we don't have time We won't make it There is no way you can fix and restart this project There is just not enough time What is there? そんなことを心配なさってますの Come on Orihime laughed She is so cheerfully optimistic 心が間違っていなかったのならきっともう誰かに届いているはずよ。Let's do it. Maybe we're not destined for a tragic end after all. As I thought about it, I started to smile a little. Suddenly, I felt like the dark clouds that were plaguing me had been lifted all at once. Orihime saves the day, huh? I'm done closing the store. Hi, yo. Kyomo, o t s u k a r e s a Going to go out for bed. I told the store manager as I got my bike ready. Oh, yeah! <laughs> to school, I forgot something in the club room. <laughs> oh, I have my bike back! Finally, by the way. <laughs> hmm. It's been a while since I went to school at night. I muttered myself as I unlocked the door and walked in. He, Nami had left the key that I had lent her in my shoe cupboard. She always did that when she looked up. I went in without turning on the light and sat down the computer. It's so cold! I took out the blanket that I had stored away for stargazing and covered my legs. I was reminded of when I had lived here at school. My new lodgings were cozy and the owners were nice, but most of all, it felt like home. But then again, the sense of freedom that I had here at the school wasn't bad either. While I waited for the computer to start up, I chewed on a piece of melon bread that was on the clearance from the store. I told the manager that I came to get something out of God, but in truth, I had another reason for coming here. <sighs> Time to switch to a higher gear, huh? Or he must visit this afternoon had cheered me up. It was so stupid of me to worry like that in front of her. I started laughing when I thought how ridiculous I was shutting myself in. Nothing is wrong with worrying. However, if you don't, can't come up with the answer, then you'll be swallowed up by the darkness. I didn't come here because I had an idea for. I just need a room with a computer to look for any hints on something we could do. Ah, it's cold. I really should have done this tomorrow. I caught myself. Dude, you literally have a heater right next to you. Why won't you turn it on? I caught myself with another blanket. I could have done nothing and stayed where it was warm, but in my metal stay, I wouldn't have been able to bury it. I had to do something. The computer put it up. I double clicked on the short shortcut to the Six Star Club website. People take. Wait, people make shortcuts for websites. The blog had been a bit more peaceful since we shut down the comment section. I looked at the social network site. <laughs> There had been a ton of replies while we had been silent. Most of them were just strongly voicing their opinion, but a few were just straight out bad mouthing us. Things had escalated because we hadn't made any statements. I checked the mail. There is quite a few here too! Just to get titles on the emails was depressing enough. It would appear from the unchecked emails that nobody had logged in for the last two days. Ah, this one is super long! It was an annoyingly comprehensive email telling us how wrong we were with Project Starlight. I should probably take care of this one. <laughs> It will eventually fall to Honoka, as she is the president to answer the emails. She might have a strong personality, but she isn't that great with criticism. Yeah. Or he might told me this afternoon. Mm-hmm. Yep. We know that. 
こんなことを頼まれても迷惑かもしれないけれど吉岡のことを支えてやってはくださらないかしらはい、たたりごと。おるひめかえっと、リーフ、when I told her I'd do what I could。She talked about how she wanted to participate in Project Starlight, but maybe she just wanted to check up on Honoka。Think about her, I came to a decision。I should delete these emails. <laughs> Even though I have a strong stomach, reading this made me feel ill. If Onoka read it, she might pass out from the shock. It would be best not to reply to him personally. It was the same for the social network staff. It was like each person had a different point to make. It was like they just didn't understand the point of Project Starlight. First, we should clearly tell them our stance on this. Everyone was going to meet up the next day. What would we do about Project Starlight? What about the future of the Six Stars Club? We would need to talk about it. I still wasn't sure if we could continue with how things were turning out. But I would regret it if we didn't try. I read each email and wrote down the main points they were making. This might take all night, which is fine by me. I'm an owl. Then I found the email mixed with in with all the other ones. There was something different about this one. It had been sent this morning. I looked closely at the title. We would like to help with Project Starlight. Ooh, who's this? Feeling safe, I opened the email. It was from another astronomy club within the prefecture. Let's go! Alright. <sighs> I'm fired up now. I'm fired up, so that's why we're going to end the episode right here, right now. Ah, it's time to end it. Uh, and it's time for me to take my dog on a walk, just like they people, of, you know, sometimes Akito, sometimes Sao Tome, and sometimes someone uh, from Sao Tome's family, so Miharu's family, take the Kotaru on the walk, obviously. Here it's on my shoulders! With my dog. Anywho, let's end it here. Uh, I'm glad to see the turnaround in at least mental state of Akito when it comes to the project. We'll see where it goes. Hopefully, it's going to be a successful, mm, a successful action made by him, and I hope the rest of the club. I also hope that you will like this video. <laughs> If you enjoyed it, of course, if you enjoyed it. Also, if you're fresh to the channel, subscribe, of course. Uh, you know, we have to grow this place. We really do, somehow. Mm. Also, Twitch, Twitter, in the Instagram, in the description, if you're into that stuff for some reason. And with that being said, uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Go stargazing or something uh, in the night. And that's it. That's it for today. Drop by tomorrow too. There will be next episode. Bye bye!